Hello and welcome to the, as promised, Mamluk campaign in Mayu and Texas. Uh, I'm just gonna unpause and let it run through a bunch of calculations and shit um, while we, you know, while while the game decides what estates and shit go in each province. Obviously, this is uh, this is the part of the game that lags the most and takes the most time and all that sort of stuff. So to go over a country, um, usually to see who the most powerful country in the world is, you would look at development, but of course development is no longer a thing in Mayo and Taxes. So in my opinion, money is probably the biggest uh, deciding factor. Uh, yes, we'll have new wordplay, thank you very much. Money is, is quite important. Um, with money you can get mercenaries, with money you can get uh, a lot of stuff. Nice, great mask. Thank you very much. Um, money is probably more important than monarch points in Mayo and Taxes. Let's just pause it again a second. Um, and to see how money is for ourselves, we get quite a lot of income. We're the third. We're uh, a ways behind Jonpur, but we're quite a ways ahead of Buff Manis as well. And the corruption here shows me that the estates have been uh, have been doled out. Um, our manpower is also pretty decent. Our max is way above what we actually have right now. Interesting that max manpower here is 122k, whereas it's 84 when you hover over it. Maybe that's something to do with the game sort of catching up with all of the events and shit. Um, so, yes, the challenge in, in this really, what, what I see the challenges as in this uh, campaign, is communication efficiency. Um, the speed at which I can get my, my runners, my, uh, my advisors, my, my orders from my capital to the far reaches of our admittedly quite vast empire. Um, so communication efficiency has been calculated, so if we go and look at CERT, we can see that it's decent. So it's probably going to the harbour here from, say, Dumyat. Um, so the communication efficiency there is pretty good. Um, if we look at the likes of Narian, however, it's pretty fucking bad. Pretty bad. Terrible, even. This province is going to be needing a port to have any chance of communicating with the rest of my empire. It's completely locked off as well. This is a this is a, a, a desert. There is no way to get to this province um, from the rest of my empire without, you know, using boats or whatever. Uh, so the, that's the thing. Uh, control by lesser nobles, arid, shit wealth, not a whole lot of uh, industri- uh, what's it called? Urban infrastructure. But yeah, getting our communication efficiency to be decent in, in the far reaches of our empire is going to be very important in this campaign. Um, just to go over why I decided to end the Teuton campaign, and so I'm pausing it while I talk. Um, Mostly it's because I didn't think it would be engaging for the viewers or me to come back from the situation we were in. So if you remember, we had just lost or white pieced with the Novgorod after they had uh, stack wiped us. Fez, that's actually a great alliance. Thank you. Um, they stack wiped us. We had piss all manpower. Our income was dire. And yes, probably could have come back from it, given a lot of time and effort. But I don't think it would have been engaging to watch. And while war is in uh, vanilla E4, probably the, the most important part of the game, that's not so much the... the that's not the case here. Also, did I get an alliance with Fez or Pheasant? Pheasant. 
Fuck. I wanted an alliance with Fez. So I'll get one. Uh, yeah, so the goals of this campaign, other than making sure communication efficiency is good, um, I would like to conquer the Ottomans. <laughs> sort of get revenge on uh, the events that occur in vanilla. Get myself some new troops. So the reason why uh, the game builds troops for you is um, mostly to do with the AI. Um, while everything is being calculated, uh, the AI has a tendency to overbuild troops uh, because they just don't know how to handle the, the money that they have. So the, the game builds troops for them so that they don't I don't know, so that they don't overbuild or, or something or whatever. It was explained to me, but I forgot really what the exact reason was. But it was something about the AI building troops and shit and overspending. So, our mission. We've gone probably far enough. Uh, convert Asir to Sunni, prove relations with the Hafsids, or conquer Al Zawr. Al Zawr is here, the Jail Riyads. Jail Riyads. That would be actually quite nice to uh, conquer some of this land. Um, Baghdad especially is a really great province. There's a lot of wealth here. Hmm. Yes. You are guaranteeing the independence of Dulk Deer. Okay, interesting. Uh, rivals first. We can't rival anybody. That's a shame. Uh, will anyone else accept an alliance? Anyone good? Yemen? Mm, maybe. Ottoman? Hafsid Tlemcen? Hmm, who shall we ally? Mm, no, not Korea. Hafsid? No. Honestly, Ottoman seem like the best, <laughs> best choice here, but I don't want to do that. Hmm. I can only really choose one, I think. Afsids are likely enemies with Fez. Yep, thought so. Arborea. You Christian? Yeah, you are. Okay. Hmm, okay. Well... Conquer Isles Hour. That can be our mission. Um, let's get rid of some of these. Seek legitimacy from the Caliph. Okay. Pilgrimage to Mecca. Mm-hmm, okay. Show sure, religion options, don't need to. Appoint favorite. Gain 15 legitimacy. Okay. Policies of expansion in Africa. I want to see what that is. Automated construction, no. Monthly budget, no. All right, let's, uh, let's click this button and see what happens. The panel is intended for us to decide where we could expand. In the following regions, our provinces, we can ex ex and All right, Egypt region. We want information on where to send settlers or troops. Khazar, Karafra, Siwa. These two. Okay, well... Part of the European food market, whatever. Siwa. So, uh, I mean, they, they seem kind of identical, so. This one. Send settlers. Fight the locals. Negotiate with the locals. Send an expedition. And a large expedition. I'm making permanent claim on any slash all. Huh. You know what, let's let's send a large expedition. Two thousand manpower doesn't seem like a whole lot right now. Let's see let's see what comes of that. That that's interesting me. Uh we make quite a bit of money, so let's see about some advisors. Yep. Uh yep. Yep. Seems good to me. And actually, let's get our guys up here. Now, 
let's see, where is the communication efficiency happening? So, fishing port is decent. Can I upgrade that anymore? Uh, trade wharf. I think I want this. Yeah. Then maybe we'll go to Bariot. Already has a trade wharf. Gaza. Let's build a fishing port here. Um, you have decent communication efficiency, don't you? Because you have a fishing port. We can't build this because... Um, reasons, I think. Don't know. There's a lot in this that I still don't know. Um, how many more states can we actually get? Let's, uh, let's figure that out first. And that's in this one. Uh, we can get one more. So, which one of these gives us the most money? 187 in Palestine. 194 in Syria. Looking like Syria. Though they're pretty close. Syria and Palestine. Let's, uh, let's state this stiff. And I think we already have them full cores. So, that's quite nice. Do we start with a general? That is a question. We do not. That's fine. Egyptian Mamluks. We get great cavalry right from the start. Damn, look at those pips. Fuck me. Ten offensive fire. Damn. Kind of insane, really, isn't it? Alright, we are going to open up all the rest of these tabs. Wish they just stayed open. I don't know anyone who plays with them closed. Um, we're going to build a spy network on the jail reads so we can siege a bit faster. We also would like to conquer who? Hmm. Maybe, maybe Urzukin? Let's see, what is your... What's your land like? There's mines in every province, except this one. We're making iron, iron, and silver, okay. Or we could go for Sil... Sil... Silicia? I like the idea of that, you've got, you've got some nice land here. Oh yeah, you're pretty rich. And we could go after the knights after that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's... Or Cyprus. Guaranteed by Venice. Guaranteed by Caraman. Okay. You know what? One, one seems pretty good for now. Let's uh, improve relations with Fez and with Fazan. We could offer a vassalization to you. Yes. That seems like a plan. What about Mercuria? Could you would you accept vassalization at some point? No. No, you would not. Apparently I conquered some Nile province from you. Whatever. You'll get over it. Right. So yeah, let's get our troops over there. This is still here, so what happened here? Is there anything that actually happened? Ooh, Jail Raids attacked the Chupanids. That's interesting. And they're also being attacked by Fars, it seems. So you're at war with Persian-Mongol Unification War and the Mongol-Mongol Unification War. Okay. Mongol Mongol or Persian Mongol? Place your bets now. So, what is the supply limit? Not fantastic. Do we want to build any more troops yet? I don't think we do. How much is it to build something here? Probably ridiculously expensive. Yeah. Very, very expensive. Okay. 
We're down to 109k already. What did I spend that on? Was was that not at like 200k like a second ago? So we'll send about 10k each way. There. That's, that's how many troops we want. Six legitimacy or admin. Ooh, money. Money, money. Or admin points. Money. We have a lot of money. Alright, that seems good to me. Armenia is at war with you as well. Okay. Well, I guess we should just attack you, like, as soon as possible then. Um, Fez or Fezan? Fez. We're gonna go and sack Baghdad. Which has a ridiculous amount of money in it. Um, don't think we really need to wait on this. Wait, what? How am- why do I have to wait but you don't? 1358. I mean, alright, that's not very far away, but still. Guess we'll wait for our troops then. Two stacks of 11k, I guess that works for me. I wonder how many the jail raids have. Um, probably just scroll through them like this. J, 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 F, G, H, I, there we go, J, K. Jail raids have 7k, so yeah. This is gonna be plenty, I think. Still making 15 ducats a month. So, that's pretty decent, I think. And again, um, to say sorry about the last campaign ending abruptly, this episode will be going for like 30 minutes. So, I hope you appreciate that. Shit leader. Let's uh, talk to our estates for the other one. I mean, or not. 11 months remaining until I can do anything with them. I'm at my leader cap. Fine, I guess we're just having one then. What's this? Jihad. 75% cost for full annexation and heathen provinces. Yeah. Time for jihad, son. And there's their entire army. Works for me. Oh shit, fuck, 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 what is it? Okay, we have, we have options. So, looting policy. Uh, let them loot. Now we have children of the book, Christians and Jews. What shall we do with them? We could blood tax them. I guess that would give us more manpower. No, bonus to infantry, cost, morale. Tolerance of heathens proportionate with the population of people paying the Devsermi. Devsermi, okay. Uh, okay. Or we could make them in Dimi. Bonus of taxes. Worst manpower, prestige, tolerance. Hmm. How about the Jews? Pay money. And the Christians pay in blood. Seems reasonable to me. Alright, and now we can just march. You can go to Mosul, I think. And you're gonna be heading straight for Baghdad. I did play a little bit of a, um, a J, J, how do you fucking pronounce this? Jaleirids? Jaleirids. 
That sounds so weird to say. So, what happened to a loop pool? 19 ducats from two provinces. I'm okay with that. Mosul is very rich, though. I imagine oh, I may be getting quite a lot of money from this. Uh, Shrine Sufis. Mm, up to 10% of the population will be converted to the state religion. Yeah. Why wouldn't I want that? That's awesome. Keep moving down this river. I don't know what this river is called, but we can uh, we can move down it. Conquer everything on the way. Another like twelve ducats from that. Damn, a four four three. It's impressive. Banu Rasi, you're these guys, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, I'll take a claim on you. And I guess now we're gonna try and siege Baghdad. The Jale the, these guys have got enough uh, enough to worry about with their chupanids. So they can just leave my siege guys alone. Urfa. What is this? Drylands. Okay. I like the new pictures. We can make another state? Hell yeah, Palestine it is. Okay, that was not a good idea. We just increased the maintenance for no benefit, really. I guess maybe we m need to wait until the autonomy ticks down or something? No, the autonomy's going up. Because... Mostly the communication time. Control by Grand Nulls. Um Yeah, okay, that sucks, but whatever. We'll deal with it. Oh, and it looks like I'm having plague problems. Make another state. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to this time, though. Alright, let's talk to our greater nobles. Offensive war sport. Holy shit, you'll give me nine men? Fuck yeah! Oh god, that's awesome. Yes. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything there, but how about you? 57 ducats, 17 force limit, war exhaustion. I'll take the money. Oh yeah, that's kind of awesome, really. Um, what are we doing? A point favorite. Let's. Uh, I think we'll wait until our legitimacy drops before we do that. Okay, and we have switched to feudal monarchy here as well. So feudal monarchy, monthly autonomy goes up. That sucks, but stability increase interval is minus ten percent. What are we at at the moment? Sultanate. Which is stability increase plus 15%. Yeah, I think I want to change. Stability is like gold dust. So now we are a feudal sultanate. Very nice. And the men from all across my empire swoop in and back up the siege in Baghdad. These sieges are going to take quite a while, though, I think. Uh, make a generous donation. What does this do? Money for legitimacy? Okay. Ah, we're at 72 now, so let's appoint a favorite see what this does. So, we have no legal heir. This basically lets me pick an heir. War exhaustion, gain army tradition, gain prestige, gain admin, or something. Uh, I'll gain some admin. That was that was evidently a shit decision. Oh 
well. Shit happens. Morale of armies minus five. Ugh. Not as if I'm really being attacked though, so it's kind of irrelevant. And the walls have been breached. Very nice. Gain another two legitimacy for nothing in particular. Oh, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Everyone actually go to the boats. Can you get away in time? Uh, what's this? Jizzy tax, okay. Uncertain succession, okay. Losing that is good. Run away! With three maneuver, I think you're eventually gonna catch me. Uh, you need to turn the fuck back around. Oh, you're just going here? That's fine. Everyone go to Dumyat. Because you're going to Dumyat. Right. There we go. It's fine. You can you can DC to this. This doesn't really affect me. I've already taken the money out of it. I mean, you are desieging de the war goal, though, so that's kind of obnoxious, but, again, who gives a fuck? I'm gonna get you guys up here. And then we'll bring our boats. Get the rest of these guys. You can't go any further than Halab. Okay, what's this now? Stop, stop, stop. Uh, gifted Chaldean. Uh, only sunny men are welcome at court. I get missionary strength at the cost of stage legitimacy, a bunch of unrest. I gain piety. Um, okay. Or the opposite. Uh, yeah, the opposite sounds good. All right, now go get these guys. Ten k to siege Baghdad. Guess that's a. It feels maybe a little bit more realistic that it takes more men. Now we're losing money. Probably reinforcements. I would hazard a guess at. Oh, I guess I what. Yeah, 10 ducats on reinforcements. Bit extreme, if you ask me. You're gonna come and attack me, aren't you? No, you're too scared. Ooh, that was a painful bit of... Uh, painful bit of attrition I just took. Jewish synagogue in Mecca. Is that literally Mecca? Or is Mecca somewhere else? Where is Mecca? It's like here-ish. There it is. Mecca. So it's literally Mecca. They want to build a synagogue in like Islam's holiest city. Tolerated shite majority oppressed Jewish presence. You know what? It, it kind of amuses me that there would be a synagogue in Mecca so fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, this is taking far too long. Fall. Thank you. How much money did we get from that? Oof, a lot. Um, I want to appoint a new favorite because that one sucked. Give me the army tradition guy. Fuck yeah, that was good. Alright, half of you can go over here. The other half can go to Baghdad.
and you can drop off some troops here. Our air is, oh god, yeah, look at that. Gonna detach a siege and move on to Baghdad. And that is 30 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed that the, uh, this episode was a little longer. Um, again, apologies if you were enjoying the uh, Tutan campaign. Apologies that that has ended. Um, but I do hope you will enjoy this uh, Mamluk series. And um, yeah, I, I'll, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Let me know in the comments, by the way, what what, uh, what your thoughts are. Uh, I'd be very interested to hear any uh, any of you played as the Mamluks yet. Um, got any suggestions, tips, and shit for me? That would be cool. But yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys.